This video is brought to you by the Lululemon Studio Mirror, the ultimate home gym. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a realistic day in the life of a fashion creator. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of my apartment and go about a realistic day in my life. Let's get into it. Good morning everyone, it's 324. Hello, this is Future Johnny right here. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of context because that sounds super tired and monotone for obvious reasons. It's three in the morning. So the reason why I got up early is because I had just gotten back from Chicago. And so the easiest way for me to get back on it is to wake up a little bit early so I can fall asleep earlier that same night. So yeah, back to the vlog where I'm gonna go work out. Take a look at that. Who doesn't love an empty gym? Shout out to my girl, she woke up early as well. I know a lot of you guys think working out early in the morning is really hard. It's actually not. We're getting yourself out of bed is the hardest part. As soon as you start lifting weights, you're gonna get all the energy you need for the most part, especially if you treat a pre-workout or something. The workouts are just like a normal workout. It's just getting up early is the hardest part and that's what most people struggle with. So that's why I always recommend keeping a bottle of cold water right next to your bed. Sip on it, easy way to wake up. Your mind is mentally stronger than you really think it is. Most people just don't put it to the test and that's all you really gotta do. It's still early in the morning. You know, a lot of guys struggle with confidence and I firmly believe that if you make some commitments to yourself and you follow through with them, how can you not be more sure of yourself? You, know, you can try all these techniques of you know taking on more space, having good postures and all that, and all that will help. But at the end of the day, confidence comes from the inside. All right, time to water the plants. So I like to just chill and wait for the sun to rise because not many people get to experience both sunsets and sunrises. It's kind of nice. And then of course I gotta take my dog out for a walk. She always enjoys that of course. And I usually like to eat some breakfast and watch some sort of podcast. That's about how I start my day after a workout. So today I've got a lot of catching up to do, a lot of work that I'm just a little bit behind on. With moving into this new place, getting settled, all this traveling I'm doing, it's kind of hard to figure out my groove at the moment, but that's no excuse. We're gonna get a lot of stuff done today. I have to figure out a fit with this cardigan right here for a future video. Sometimes this process alone can take like 30 minutes up to an hour just figuring out for one fit. That's just the way fashion YouTube goes, you know? What do y'all think of this? I'm not really used to cardigans, but I think this, this, I like the colors, this big statement piece. I don't know, this is kind of a vibe to me. What do y'all think? The last fit, I felt like it was more spring, which is totally fine, you can wear that during the fall, but I feel like this is more so a winter version. What do y'all think? I think this one definitely fits the vibe more. Okay, so one of the habits I have is I write down all my tasks for the day. That way I already know what's on my plate. And there's just so much satisfaction with crossing a task out. I'm, uh, I'm kind of old school, I like to handwrite everything. And so it's not even lunchtime yet all right we already woke up before 5 a.m or 5 a.m uh, we already worked out we already came up with an outfit for the for this upcoming video so that's already more than half of my tasks already done for the day then for the rest of the day i gotta film the this day in the life and i have to film some integrations for upcoming videos and then i have to shoot b-roll for those videos and i got this whole concept from andy frisella he's a big podcaster and he always says if you write down your five most critical tasks and you get them done, you can just chill out for the rest of the day because it's just better to do five things consistently rather than batch everything up in one day. It's more stressful that way, believe me, I know, but this way is more sustainable over the long term. As you guys know, I have moved out of my Brooklyn apartment. They wanted to increase my 500 square foot studio from $2,300 to $4,000 for a tiny space, it's kind of ridiculous. So. I moved out of there. But yeah, this is my new place. It's a very expensive apartment. Over here is my kitchen. I didn't have an island before in my old tiny place. And this is gonna be a little quick tour because I'll, I'll probably have a full full tour in, in a few months or so when I get everything settled. This is the console entertainment area. We got the living room right here. And what's cool is since this is a really nice area and a nice building, a lot of people have a lot of disposable income and they just throw away really nice furniture. So. These bar stools, this desk, this chair, all free. People will just get rid of nice stuff. I don't get why. One man's trash is another man's treasure, you know? Over here is where I film. So we got a clothing rack right here. We got a, a mirror right here as well. Uh, I got my office desk area and just some plants everywhere. YouTube plaque and all that. That's just a little quick tour. But I really want to show you guys something I've been using. So I got a ton of mirrors in my place as a fashion creator. It's just, it's kind of what you have to do. 
because it's just not ideal if you got your clothes over here, your shoes across the, the place, then you got clothes in your closet. I'm trying to put together a fit is kind of a hassle that way. And this mirror in particular is awesome. This is the Lululemon Studio mirror, which they are the sponsor of today's video. All right, y'all, so Lululemon Studio is sort of a hybrid fitness experience. And when you become a member, you get access to original fitness classes from Lululemon Studio, as well as these other popular boutique fitness studios. And you get access to these classes right from this mirror right here, or virtually from anywhere. And the reason why I love this thing is one, I have a, a mirror closer to my closet so I can put together fits easier, but also I'm a busy guy. You know, I got big goals in mind and things that I wanna accomplish. Sometimes even going downstairs to my building gym can be somewhat of an obstacle. If I wanna get something quick, that's what this mirror is for and it fits me perfectly. For most of my fitness journey, I've always worked out at home. Y'all see me back in the day with the pull-up bar, gymnastic rings. This mirror and the app just has a ton of other classes I wouldn't normally do if I went to a gym or anything like that. I get to do and try those classes within the comfort of my own home. I used to be a martial artist, I used to practice Tai Chi, I get to do that right here. I used to box and do some Muay Thai back in the day, I get to do that here as well. And what's also really cool is the classes are always evolving. You're gonna get new experiences from Lululemon's expert trainers and world-class fitness studios. And in this particular launch, they are partnering with eight other boutique fitness studios, which just makes training that much more accessible. And seriously guys, this is the ultimate home gym. You get to stream a ton of different workouts from the Lululemon Studio app. And with the purchase of the Lululemon Studio Mirror, you automatically become a Lululemon Studio member. This allows you to get access to 10,000 plus on-demand classes that's streamable and Anytime. There's definitely a class for everyone. And that's just training content. Additionally, you get 10% off Lululemon gear, 20% off partner studios, and early access to Lululemon events. So if you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you guys can pick one of these up. I actually really recommend it. You guys have seen the B-roll, I was sweating. And it also just looks really nice in my new place that doubles up as a mirror and doubles up as a fitness studio. Highly recommend it, y'all. Click that link in the description. Thank you, Lululemon Studio, for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna head downstairs now to do some scripting. And luckily in my building, there's actually these work areas and work pods and all that. And when I tell you guys the actual price of my apartment, you guys are going to be blown away. But you can justify it, or at least I can justify it, because I was planning on getting in somewhat of a studio or an office space or something like that. In addition to finding a new place, if I did that, I'd probably be paying a similar price. Whereas if I just pay for a more expensive place where there's these amenities, you know, I save more time not having to commute, not having to buy a car. I just have to go within my building to get some work done. I think that's a smarter move. I don't recommend this for your average person. If I wasn't a creator, I'd live in just a, you know, a nice place, just a regular place, no amenities. But this, I can justify this a little bit more so I can create better content. Okay, so we just got some scripting done. Why not take a little break? We're gonna shoot some hoops. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's, this is a, another good part of the building is I can relax and just chill for a bit instead of having to go somewhere and all that. I can just stay in the same building. Another cool aspect I really like about this building is just the lighting, right? It just makes sense as a creator, fashion creator, to pay for these amenities. You know, I feel so weird because growing up in Albuquerque, New Mexico, I grew up in poverty. This feels super abnormal and I feel out of place, but Look at this. This is just a cool, simple background, cool lighting. It's a great place to shoot and I don't have to, at least in my old place in Brooklyn, I'd have to commute like 15 minutes to find a really cool spot to shoot. We're also gonna get a game of pool in. So for an upcoming video, we're shooting content, getting close-ups of sneakers, boots, and then just me wearing the outfits. This honestly takes longer than you think if you ever want to be a fashion creator, but it's fun. Okay, y'all, so we're finishing up the day now, and I just picked up some packages. I already got uh, started with unboxing them. Uh, the first thing I actually got is this Philips Hue table lamp. I noticed in the background of my videos, there isn't too much accessory lighting. So whenever I shoot at night, it just seems a little bit too bland. So that's why I got this one right here. It's gonna add a nice touch to the background of the videos. And this is an investment piece to my studio. So it's gonna help out with the video. But there's also a great table lamp for your bedroom, desk, if you wanna have a nice setup and all that. So it's, it's good to invest in a place where you're gonna be spending a lot of time doing work and all that. So this was definitely well worth the investment. So yeah, it was Prime Day the other day and they had some really good deals. So I had to pick this one up. So this is from Anchor. Anchor makes like these really, really efficient charging bricks. So this one is the GAN, GAN Prime Travel Charger. So this 
a little tiny piece can charge your laptop and can charge your phone. It has three ports, two USB-C ports and one USB-A port. So it's great for traveling. The ultimate travel charging brick. And I've been traveling with this for the past half year or so. I've found it so useful and I don't really need to bring my iPhone charger or my laptop charger or many of these other charging bricks. I just need one thing. To upgrade that, you get all of those same ports right there, but it also doubles up as a portable charger. We have this flash right here. I've been uh, really enjoying flash photography. Those built-in flashes, you can't really adjust how bright it is. This one, I'll be able to. So this is for my Sony camera. This is the Godox flash for my a7 IV. Okay, nice. Here it is. What's cool about these type of flashes is they basically telescope so you can like point it at your subject, you can bounce it off the ceiling, you know, you can get more creative with it and you can adjust the power of it as well. And then we got a basically a soft filter for it, which is gonna make the lighting a little bit more softer. So there's much more versatility with a, a dedicated flash than rather than a built-in flash, especially the fact that you can bounce the flash off the ceiling, it can make it a much more even lighting. So if you guys are be creators out there, you got your own side hustles, always invest back into your hustle because that's what's going to improve your hustle, your gig and all that, scale you up. Plus it's fun getting new toys.